Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Recently Microsoft released a Windows 11 Insider Preview build, 22621.891 and 22623.891, to the beta channel. As a reminder, insiders who were previously on build 22622 will automatically get moved to build 22623 via an enablement package. The enablement package artificially increments the build number for the update with new features getting rolled out and turned on to make it easier to differentiate from devices with the update with features off by default. This approach is being used for the beta channel only and is not indicative of any changes or plans for final feature rollouts. Moreover, insiders who landed in the group with new features turned off by default, build 22621, can check for updates and choose to install the update that will have features rolling out. Build 22623 Talking about this build, we have a set of task manager improvements rolling out with this build. Firstly, filter processes are now available with this build. Microsoft is bringing process filtering to task manager. This is the top feature request from users to filter or search for processes. You can filter either using the binary name, PID, or publisher name. The filter algorithm matches the context keyword with all possible matches and displays them on the current page. The filter is also applied as you switch between pages. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Alt plus F to focus on the filter box. This is a helpful feature if you want to single out a process or a group of processes and want to take action or just monitor the performance of the filtered processes. Next to that, better theme support is also available. Microsoft has added the ability to use the preferred theme in Task Manager, regardless of the active theme in Windows. You can set it on the setting page in Task Manager. Also. Task Manager now supports themes for in-app dialogues. All dialogue except for Run New Task and Properties dialogue now supports themes, and will adhere to either app-specific theme or Windows theme. Talking about the improved Efficiency Mode dialogue, Microsoft is making it easy to apply Efficiency Mode and offering the ability to opt out of the Confirmation dialogue. You can make changes on the Efficiency Mode dialog box by unchecking Don't Ask Me Again or you can enable or disable the settings for Task Manager. So, these were the few changes for the Task Manager in this build. In this build, Microsoft has made improvements to the Emoji Search, for Japanese and simplified Chinese by handling Kana Kanji and Pinyin properly in the Emoji panel. Talking about the fixes in this build for Taskbar and System Tray. When using the bottom right edge gesture to see quick settings, the taskbar should no longer get stuck in the expanded state. Also, fixed an issue causing the Do Not Disturb icon to disappear while in Do Not Disturb mode. And lastly, the new Show Hidden Icons Flyouts animation should now be consistent with other taskbar flyouts. So, that was all from Microsoft for this build. If you want to know more, follow the link to the official Microsoft blog, from the description. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.